I started out with this little project using some polymer clay. It doesn't matter what colour it is, you just want the clay for the purpose of making an impression. I rolled it out um, fairly thin, just so I could get enough to go around the little piece of plastic, what have you, whatever you can put in the oven. Use, you know, a bit of metal or a you know, PVC piping, a wooden broom handle, whatever you can come up with to use and um, just evenly roll your polymer clay out onto it. It doesn't have to be super perfect. As long as the outside impression is good, then it uh, should work out all right. I neatened it up as much as possible. And then I just you know, stuck the handle of this chisel in there just so I could kind of iron it out and make it just a little bit more even. I'm using a bit of um, baking paper just to stop it sticking to everything so I can work with it nice and easily. I got a bit of balsa wood. I thought it would be about the size of two bricks because I couldn't find something suitable for one brick at a time and this worked out better anyway. I just made a little notch in the end so two bricks would be divided. And I just used this as a little uh, tool to make impressions all the way around. I didn't have a practice go with this. I just made it um, straight up. So it was a little bit wonky to start out with being under the the camera it was a bit of an awkward angle for me but once I got started it was pretty easy and of course with brickwork you would make the bricks uneven underneath each other so you go around one way and then you do half I don't even know how to explain this I'm sure you all know how brick pattern works so so you just you just do an uneven layer beneath each layer as you can see there where the gaps are between just do it evenly all the way around and the nice thing about this little bit of balsa wood is the grain in the end of it is so rough it just makes this really nice brick pattern as well it, it's worked out really nicely do this in a warm room so you, your clay stays nice and and soft this only took me about five minutes to do it so um yeah and this tool i'll use forever it's uh it's worth making this thing and the good thing is you could do it in any size brick that you wanted you can see it's starting to work out I got better as I went you get a little gap like that just do one end of the little tool and you could make it make it you know a tool with um, more bricks to do the impression easier than I did but um, this is just a rough idea that I came up with so hopefully some of you will find it a handy idea instead of uh, waiting for something to come in the mail that you've ordered online <laughs> and this is free so win-win this is very hard plastic that I used this is actually often <laughs> a connector for an oar for a little uh, a little blow-up boat that I have but um whatever you use just try and make sure it's not going to melt this did melt a little bit i put it on a bit of foil and put it on a fairly low temperature in the oven but it still melted but i was mani I managed to get the uh, clay nice and hard and uh, yeah it made it through i cut some xps foam really thin for the building i want to apply it to it's it's almost paper thin it's really nice and i'll just um I probably could have put something inside this like the handle of that chisel again and rolled it but um, I'm still practicing but I'm very very happy with how these came out just a good amount of pressure nice and even and then uh, yeah that's it original brickwork <laughs> I am extremely happy with how these came out and it's, it's gonna save me many many hours of drawing up bricks by hand the way I normally would five minutes to make a tool versus you know drawing them up and or cutting them out and all that mucking around definitely worth making one of these I 
I just dropped them in some brown wash like I do with everything that's XPS foam or cardboard or whatever I use just to get in the impressions because you don't want to go loading this with paint the date the detail on this is so fine that if you go jamming paint in there you're going to lose all the detail so I just let it do its work and make um, you know shadow and that sort of stuff and when you, it dries you can see how much lighter it is but I'm just going to drop sort of a it's a greenish blue gray that I use on everything and I'm going to really lightly put it on because again I don't want to go filling the gaps in and because I've got that nice wash under there I don't have to go really layering the paint on I can just give the impression of color and you can even see it coming through from beneath almost like individual bricks on its own just a sort of a, a, a brown you know, reddish brick brown as I'm doing the brush strokes I'm doing them in a crisscross motion so I'm not filling up all those little indentations that were made by the, the tool or the impression. This is about the fastest way I've ever made bricks. No doubt about it actually, this is the fastest way I've ever done it, it's really effective. And just a red ochre on top, sporadically I'm not going to go layering paint. I just want to start giving the hint of individual bricks. Because there's no way I'm going to sit there with a small brush and paint them all individually. That would be insanity. I'm going to do a few here and there with some different colours just to give that variety and sort of it'll help pull the eye around, make it look a little more natural because it's uneven. For anyone who doesn't know, make sure you do use water-based paints and glue with foam too. Otherwise, it'll dissolve it. This is the cardboard building that I'm working on. It's an entirely brick structure that's going to be. And this is my solution. And as you can see, once I've done a pile of these uh, very quick, easy um, sheets of brick, I can lay them all over the building. And that's that big job done. I hope you got something out of this one because I know I did. I'm in love with this idea and it's going to save me huge amounts of time. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you next time.